my 220 amp alternator in my 1962 Chevy Impala. This is a 220 amp. This is the biggest amp size alternator I've had on this car. Um, the one before this was a 200 amp. Um, and that one, the power watt, the power connector fucked up. So that's why I bought this one. And I'm glad I found this one. Um, it fucked up because it kept spinning and it was very loose. So I wasn't charging it at a full charge. It was the power um, screw was loose. But anyways, um, this is a 220 amp. Now, the thing with my car is, my car is a two wire. So I had to buy an adapter for it. Now I found an adapter that fits this correctly. I would open it up for you, but it's uh, it's on right now. But that's an adapter that cost me, I don't know, maybe 12 bucks. So it was sitting for a week until I, until I got the adapter. And um, it's pretty solid. Let me show you the voltage. sitting the car is cold it's a cold start it's a cold morning let me press the gas real quick goes up to 14.5 yeah now um, see it over time letting it warm up it'll go up it'll go up to 14.5 see right now it's at 13.7 13.6 playing around right Um, it's a good alternator for my system. It doesn't, um, my car battery doesn't die. <laughs> the reason why I bought that alternator was for all my goddamn speakers. Um, let me show you my subs. batteries in the back to um, audio batteries I got two zero gauge ground wires coming from the alternator itself so two zero gauges coming back here to my batteries and then spreading it out to all my, my amplifiers now I do have the big three upgrade on here that's an upgrade ground wire let me turn off my car I do have the big three upgrade, which is upgrading the ground wire. There's actually two grounds on here right now. There's, I had this wire hanging around, so I was like, might as well use it. But this right here is a zero gauge copper um, wire grounded to the frame. That's the frame of the, the car. So this is ground, this alternator is ground to the frame. And here's the big part of the big three. This is a two gauge um, power wire. This is a really good wire all copper like solid going to my battery that's one of the two two of the two and my battery's got a zero gauge around so that's it man it's pretty clean pretty solid people tell me that that um these overheat easily well this is a brand new this is a new technology and this got holes in it for it to to breathe and uh, it's been working really well for me and, and I don't see myself um, upgrading any further there's no need for me to to get a 320 amp like I'm not I'm not a fucking Tahoe playing uh, 418s in the back you know I'm just a just a low rider dude playing with a couple 12s banging there it is <laughs>